Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carly Pegmar, and I'm the programmer for the Pike County Public Library. For today's virtual story time, I will be reading Santa is Coming to Indiana, written by Steve Smallwin and illustrated by Robert Dunn and Jim Mitchell. Well, boomed Santa, have all the children from Indiana been good this year? Well, uh, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of Indiana had sent him. Mostly? asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses. Yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get their presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really, really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it into Santa's sleigh, though how they managed to fit such a big sack onto one little sleigh even they didn't know. But somehow, they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Uh, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. Missing? Which reindeer is missing? asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him. But just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been? asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he Well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa knife and tapped in the coordinates for Indiana. This will guide us to Indiana in no time. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch on the carrot. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went racing through the sky. Oh, 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 laughed Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the Hoosier's gate. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew in the wintry air, crossing over Canada. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above Michigan and on toward Indiana. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They had just crossed Hoosier Hill when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around them. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. And two miles, said the Santa man in a bossy lady's Keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all the snow. Soon, they were hopelessly lost. Then, through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. He looked over at the old reindeer with the Red nose, but he had his the head down. Red nose? I wonder who that could be. Ding dong, ding dong. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa in his sleigh behind him. Whoa! cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then, to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the bells of the Scottish Rite Cathedral in Indianapolis. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Then suddenly, crunch. 
The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa Nav unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were, stuck right at the very top of Chase Tower. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might until, at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the tower. Santa steered them safely around Monument Circle, above the Indiana State House, past the NCAA Hall of Champions, and YPN Trail, and down into White River State Park. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted out the presents into order again. All right, said Santa. Thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over Indiana, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go. There were big chimneys in Fort Wayne and small chimneys in Carmel. He squeezed down the thin chimneys in South Bend and plummeted down fat chimneys in Bloomington. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all and it looked like the children in Indiana were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry, too. And house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filed the stocking, filled up the stockings with surprises. And house after house, the good children of Indiana had left out a large plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bit, a little bite out of his cookie. A tiny sip of milk wiped his beard and popped the carrots into his sack. From Gary to Muncie, from Evansville to Noblesville, from Lafayette to Terre Haute, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in Indiana. Santa delivered presents to Allison, Andrew, Anna, Arabella, Archie, Ashley. The list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zach, Zoe, and Zibble. Finally, Santa had delivered the last present on his long Indiana list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to the North Pole. And soon they were speeding past the zoo above Eagle Creek Reservoir, past the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, and out over Lake Michigan through the crisp starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, Indiana. Thank you all for watching.